Welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome to day three of the Web Summit and to Modem, where fashion and technology unite. My name is Janine Ballone, and I'll be your MC for today's sessions. Um, just want to begin by telling you that we have a huge lineup today. Uh, I think you'll be very impressed with all of the speakers and uh, panel discussions we have. So, does art imitate life or is it the other way around? Um, nowhere is the lines more blurred than in fashion. And where does tech fit in? We're going to find out today over the next few hours here at Modem, Web Summit's dedicated fashion uh, cycle. Later on, we'll have an exclusive interview with Nadia Swoski from the iconic company which bears her name. Members of the audience can also ask her questions via our Web Summit app. We'll also discuss fashion's impact on the planet with Livia Firth of EcoAge and how designers are coming together to counteract it. But first, if I say the number seven, 7 billion, what do most of you think of? I would say everyone's thinking the population. That is correct. However, it's also the number of the profit turned over by this legendary brand every year. Our first speaker has been working at Tommy Hilfiger driving growing and growing the uh, business in various capacities over 20 years. Today, he's the global CEO of Tommy Hilfiger, as well as leading Europe, Middle East, and Africa portfolio for the parent company, PBH. He is a self-declared innovation addict and sees technology as being at the heart of fashion's future. To talk about staying on trend and in business, Please welcome CEO of Global Label, Tommy Hilfiger, Daniel Greeter. That feels good. Thank you very much. Thank you to having me here. Thank you to filling up the space. I'm honored to speak to you. So today, uh, we want to talk about our brand, about the Tommy world. And a bit, I would like to give you our experience, how we're going to think, how we're going to translate in these uh, challenging markets into the future. So there is going to be a lot of information. And um, you're going to see a lot. And it's quite speedy, because I only have limited time. So I'm asking you all, are you ready for this? The key, uh, four key topics we're going to cover, you see here. So it's the power of the brand and how we navigate in these uh, 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 markets. But it's the rolling vision, which I'm going to show you secretly, only to you. And we talk about building the culture of innovation. And then also some words about the future. So if we go into this challenging global landscape that we're all facing today, um, it's challenging. We know that. But the world is changing, and the world is changing faster. And uh, there is uncertainty that we have to live. But it doesn't matter. It's a mindset. Change is for us not only bad. You just have to adapt to change, which is important in our company. That's what we do every day. We are open-minded, and we take the change, because there is always some opportunity in the change. And that's what we have taken for us. I know the industry, some press and some people, they see the fashion industry as dead. And they see the retail industry also as dead. But as long as we all wear clothes, there's good news, we will exist. The only thing that is changed is the end consumer. And as long as we start to understand and do understand the end consumer, how, how he buys and where he buys, we will be fine. Because it doesn't matter where he buys the brand, as long as he buys the brand. So that's what we have taken as the biggest challenge, to work close and be close by the end consumer. With all the challenges, we are very proud. All the associates from PVH and Tommy, we are doing well. We are doing nearly 8 billion retail sales. And if you see in all the areas, we are growing. We are still growing double digit in the Americas, in Europe, and in Asia. And that is because we do a few things right. 
and it's because we have a fantastic team behind the brand. So also, the brand has an incredible momentum, and a lot of people ask me, why is that? It's not one point I can give you. It's a number of points and a number of uh, things we do that I'm going to show you in the next couple of minutes why we think we do so well. So we are quite rec uh, get good recognition and good votes from the press and from the industry on how we are doing. Now we come to the rolling vision. And that's the secret. That actually is our North Stars. That's what we and the team uh, together have implemented about three years ago. It's a clear vision, it's a mission, it's a purpose. We have the <clears throat> clear three priorities, three pillars. We have the power of the brand and we understand our values, which is the foundation of our brand. And everybody, that vision is embedded in all the divisions, in all the departments and in all the countries. Everybody lives that vision. Building a culture of innovation. I think this fair is wonderful. You see so, any, so much innovation going on in the world. And we put that also as a pillar in our company. You have to live innovation. You have to live it not only, you have to also be able to implement it in all areas of your company. And it needs time. You have to spend time. But you also, it needs a lot of money. You have to invest into innovation. That's what we do and that's what we consistently do. So innovation needs to be placed in the business, not only in wholesale, but we also have it implemented. Uh, wholesale is our digital showroom. We have implemented it in e-com, uh, e but also in our retail business, which we summarize together. It has to go hand in hand, offline, online, and we call it omni-channel. But also in all the processes, um, in, in, in the whole system and the, in the operation in the, in the business. And brand and product is the next one that you have to build innovation. Uh, we do a lot for our brand. We invest a lot in our brand. If you, if you see how we're going to work with our partnerships. We started with Rafael Nadal in the tennis. We put him as an ambassador. Then we went to Chichi Hadid. Chichi was a nobody two and a half years ago, and we made a superstar out of her, and we made also collections with her. But today, we work together with Lewis Hamilton. Not only we put the sticker on his uh, jacket, or we don't only put the sticker on the car, we really work in collaboration with Lewis, who is also developing his own collection with us, and he does it himself. He's very talented. He brings us a new consumer, a younger consumer, but we also work with Formula One team, who we learn a lot how to use data and how to test. But we also work with Daimler, where we have different areas that we would like to top. So it's a real partnership that we do. But also in, uh, in Tommy Now, uh, our fashion show, where we go so much more near to the end consumer and bring the collections live to the end consumer. We first create our strategy on what we want to do, how we want to do it, and then we select the celebrities. It's not just randomly picked. We really only take those where we think they fit to our company, but also to our brand. But not only uh, innovation in brand, but also into the product. And what we already do and testing is the 3D design. 3D design adds speed to the end consumer. So we will be able to design the product much faster and bring the product much faster to the end consumer. What I showed you before was a digital showroom. So what we do here is we design digitally, then it goes direct into the digital showroom without making any samples, which makes it much faster. It makes it much more efficient, effective, and even more sustainable. And then from the digital showroom, when we have the order, it goes direct to the vendors and can be produced in much less time. So this is something we currently are testing and investing uh, in the 3D design. But also in corporate, um, uh, corporate responsibility, we do a lot. And we have to make this planet better. We have to make our industry better. And therefore, we invest into better cotton. We actually try to get new technology in denim, using less water, doing kind washes um, with laser wash, which is already in our denim center of excellence installed in Amsterdam. But we also do sustainable retail concepts, adaptive clothing to help and also circularity, which the new generation is so important that you as a brand can do all these things. But you should not do it just to have it. 
You have to believe in it. You have to live it. And not only myself, but also the whole team and everybody who works at PVH or at Tommy Hilfiger. Um, the next um, we invest is basically in our people. I think that's the foundation. Without the people, there's nothing. We do a lot for them, and we try to do a lot for them. Um, it's the way we work. It's the foundation of our, of our rolling vision. It's our mindset. We are very entrepreneurial driven. We, are, have, we have a spirit that is, let's do things. Let's make the impossible possible. When we do mistakes, we are not finger pointing on other people. We finger pointing on the problem and we try to solve the problem together. It's allowed to make mistakes in our company as long as you learn something. And we always say something what was good yesterday might be not good enough for tomorrow as you have seen in the film. And we try to simplify everything. It's the art of what we do. And I said it also in the film, it's easy to make things complicated, but it's complicated to make things easy. And with that drive and with that trust or speed of trust we give our employees and the empowerment, that's what we try to motivate them. But next to that, we try to give them also a fantastic home. And what you see here is our new campus. That's the headquarter of Tommy Hilfiger globally. It's just opening and all the associates will be there by the end of December. 2000 associates will be here. But this is not just a nice house. It's a whole culture. It's the next. It's where you live. It doesn't only have fitness. It doesn't have only health club. It has bars, restaurants. It has mindset balance room. It has different courses. And we support our associates with flex up, with flex time, everything. We are completely flexible. But it's also we create a place to be, or what I'm saying, I try to, we try to create a campus of the future where people don't want to go home and just work. The last thing is to look a bit into the future, how we see the future. Again, we believe that what still continues to count in the future is speed, is innovation, but product remains king. Nothing works without a good product in place. No campaign, no celebrities, you, the product needs to be in the center. So we say product is king and the end consumer is the, ki is the queen. So those have to go hand in hand. And then we even, as a company, we look even further than 2020. We look into 2030. And we already today think, how can retail look at? And I'm not want to go in all these points, but there's basically two things to remember, in my opinion. One is consumer centric is even getting um, uh, more important. To be closer to the end consumer is, imp is getting even more important than today. And the next thing which you have to imagine is artificial intelligence and robots around the store or in the stores will be reality for sure. We don't know how yet that's going to work, but we definitely are testing and working on different concepts. And what we as a company believe, we are big, we know, but we don't want to be slow. We believe you can be big, but you still can be fast. And in the future, it's not the big one takes the small one, it's the fast one who takes the slow one. And that's what we always look. And next to that, we also, what we do and how we have done that, if I think about the see now, buy now, how much risk we have taken or with the digital showroom, we love it. We take risk, we test, we go for it because we believe the biggest risk is to take no risk. And with that, I hope just in these 20 minutes, which I'm just shaping up, I was able to show you a little world in the Tommy area and show you how this brand is developing into the future. And with that, I want to thank you very much for being here and listening to this brand. <laughs>